So one thing that's useful when you're working on JavaScript is reference. We can't have all of it in our brains at the tip of our tongue or the tip of our fingers ready to type into our projects. So two good resources are the MDM web docs and also W3Schools. Some people like one versus the other. I use both consistently. If I am trying to find something and do it in JavaScript, I type in JS and then I will finish it with what else I am looking for. So if I wanted to look up query selector and I will see that it comes up with the MDM document first, it comes up uh, W3Schools down here, so I can just simply take a look at that one. I can take a look at this one and see what's there. And we can see now it tells me what it is, how it works, and then it even will give me usage examples of how to work with it. And same thing with W3Schools. So the takeaway on that is you type in JS and then you type in what you are trying to do. If you don't know the command or tag or other thing because it hasn't been provided to you and you're just trying to ferret it out, then just type JS and then a description of what you want to accomplish. So if I were to say select element, we can see where we have a couple of different options that are coming up and now we will let it come up and we will see you know, how do we select an object? And we will start to find out that there are different ways of doing it. So anytime we're doing this search with JavaScript, the key thing is start your search with JS and then type in whatever else you're trying to do. So if I want to find things by ID or class, we can do that. Again, MDM, W3Schools, the two that will come up first each and every time. Great resources. You just have to read through it and the more you do it and get comfortable with it, the more you will start to understand it. So now, as I'm looking here, it says, hey, if we don't have an ID, we could use, oh, what, clear query selector. So that works pretty slick too. And we can start to look down the list, go, hmm, maybe something else here is going to interest me. Maybe I want to find the first element child or all kinds of good options as we look through. So. Once again, do your searches, see what comes up, and if you always start with JS on your search, it's going to queue it into JavaScript answers.